Well, hello. We are Muslims who don't want Sharia or a caliphate in the West and have actually come to this part of the world to get away from dogma, theocracy, and forced religiosity. This, my friends, is the reality on the ground. So have no doubts in your mind that there is a subversive Wahhabi Salafi agenda that is making all this happen. And for those of you who may be unfamiliar with the term Wahhabi Salafi, let me very quickly tell you that it is a movement named after the reformer Abdul Wahhab, who died in 1791. This puritanical movement acquired an explosive energy after its founder allied himself with a petty Arab chieftain, Muhammad ibn Saud, after whose name Saudi Arabia has been established. To propagate their particular brand of Islam, these Wahhabis attacked fellow Muslims, like Shias and Sufis, who pra whose practices they considered un-Islamic only because they differed in interpretation. So according to them, there should be no other interpretation except what they believe in. The Wahhabis steadily expanded their power over Central and Western Arabia until they were able to affect the political unification of the peninsula into the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Once established, the Wahhabi authorities instituted a religious police force which among its other functions compels Muslims to perform ritual prayer at the appropriate times of the day in direct contradiction to the Quran's commandment which says, let there be no compulsion in religion. So they essentially have created an, their own ideology regardless of what the Quran tells us. So not surprisingly, this movement considers Jews and Christians to be infidels. And I brought you a cutting just last week which was published in our major newspaper called the National Post, Saudi textbooks spread hate. There is a group called um, the religious, uh, it's a Washington-based uh, think tank called the Center for Religious Freedom. Ten years ago, they had done a study in which they found that the textbooks being taught to school children in Saudi Arabia were propagating hate against people of other faiths, especially Jews and Christians. And at that time, the, the US government was asked to do something about this. And so they very politely asked the Saudis not to publish such books, but now, Ten years down the road, they find that not only has, have these books been spread out, continue to be published in Saudi Arabia, they're being exported to the rest of the world so because of the, the Saudi money. So essentially, the motto of the Saudis is that since all of you are going to burn in hell anyway, we'll help get you there faster. 